Something devastating has happened, and again, unconfirmed report that a plane has crashed into one of the towers there. For a few weeks. Before that, Gideon was the main cameraman. Every time the battalion goes, I go. You know, I just need to practice, so I shoot. And I don't stop. Check the area with meters, and it, it was kind of routine and um, pretty simple. It was 8:46 in the morning, and then we heard a, a plane come over. And in Manhattan, you don't hear planes too often, especially loud ones. the first plane slamming into the North Tower that jolted yes. then NYU student Caroline Dries and her roommate from their sleep. Caroline grabbed her video camera and started rolling. I had just received the camera like a week previously and so the night before was the first time I was actually using it so I was just sitting on my desk. This is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. It looked like an airplane crashed into the building. Thank God it wasn't terrorists though. We were kids. Like, we were so vulnerable and so naive. That, what is that falling? Is that a person? Where? Oh I'm falling. My reaction was that there's no way people are going to be jumping to their death. I just couldn't, like, go there. Caroline kept rolling, her hand steady, her nerves okay. not. Oh. <gasps> I just remember feeling like I don't know what to do. Oh my God! This week is traditionally the peak of hurricane season. We're doing a series of reports we call the Eye of the Storm. Today, evacuation gridlock. We'll start with CNN's John Zarella, who's in the Florida Keys live this morning. John is with us. Good morning, John. Morning, Vince. Let me tell you, emergency managers and hurricane forecasters will always tell you you can run from the water and you can hide from the wind. That means you've got to get out of the way for storm surge, but you can usually hide from the wind. I'm Amanda Lang at the New York Stock Exchange, where we could be in for a solid open to the trading day. Stock index futures point to some buying for the broader market and for techs. One sector that could provide a boost, wireless stocks. Nokia is saying it expects to meet earnings targets for the current quarter, but the world's largest mobile phone maker is warning that third quarter sales will be about 5% below the year-ago level. This, Justin, you were looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. The CNN Center right now is just beginning to work on this story, obviously calling our sources and trying to figure out exactly what happened, but clearly something relatively devastating happening this morning there on the south end of the island of Manhattan. That is, once again, a picture of one of the towers of the World Trade Center. We you can see these pictures, it's obviously uh, Something devastating has happened, and again, unconfirmed report that a plane has crashed into one of the towers there. We are efforting more information on this subject as it becomes available to you. Right now, we've got Sean Murtaugh. He is a CNN producer on the telephone right now. Sean, what can you tell us about what you know? This is uh, Sean Murtaugh. I just was uh, standing on the uh, uh, vice president of finance. Sean, Vice president of finance for CNN. Sean, we're on the air right now. What, what can you tell us about this situation? Hello? Yes, Sean, you're on the air yes, right yes. now. Uh, can, what can, go ahead. What can you tell us? I, I just witnessed a plane that appeared to be cruising uh, slightly lower than normal altitude over New York City, and it appears to have crashed into 
uh, I don't know which tower it is, but it hit directly in the middle of uh, one of the World Trade Center towers. Sean, what kind of plane? Was it a small plane, a, a it jet? Was a, uh, it was a jet. It uh, looked like a two-engine jet, um, maybe a 737. You're talking about a large passenger commercial jet. A large jet. passenger commercial jet. We are going to join one of, another one of our New York affiliates, WABC, for their live coverage. Plane overhead, and then all of a sudden, I, I thought it sounded kind of loud, um, louder, but I looked up, and all of a sudden, it smashed right dead into the center of the World Trade Center. Um, big, uh, big flash of flame, uh, fire coming out from all over, then the, all the, um, the bricks, is a huge hole right now. Um, it almost looked like the plane probably went through. I'm not sure. Winston, can you see, are you on the north side there where the, the plane made uh, contact? Yes, I am. Now, when you say a huge hole, uh, one of our earlier oh. witnesses, Libby Clark, said not much of the plane came down off the building. Much no, of it went totally right in. into the building. It's in the building that, from what you can see. Right. Now, can yeah. you see if there's a lot of debris downstairs, Winston? Um, no, because it looked like it, it inverted with the impact. Everything went inside the building. Inside. Uh, the only thing that came out was a little bit of the uh, the outside awning. But I'd say the huge, the hole is, let me just get a better look right now. Okay, go ahead. We'll the, um, I'd say the hole takes about, looks like six, seven floors were taken out. And there's more oh, explosions there's, oh, right now. Hold on, people are running. Wait, hold, so hold on. on just a moment. We've got an explosion inside. The building's that... exploding right now. you got people running up the street. Okay. Hold on, I'll tell you what's going on. Okay, just uh, put, put Winston on pause there for just a moment. Okay, while the he... whole building just exploded some more. The whole top part. Okay. The building's still intact. People are running up the streets. Uh, am the... I still connected? Winston, this would support probably what Libby and you both said, that perhaps the fuselage was in the building that would cause a second explosion such as that. Well, that's what just happened then. That would, that certainly. Yeah, people are running like, um, I, We are getting word that perhaps. Okay, hold on. The, the people here are, everybody's panicking. All right, well, Winston, you know, Winston, let me put Winston on hold for just a moment. Okay, I don't know how much longer we're staying. I'm inside of a diner right now. Well, Winston, you know what? If you could give us a call back, I just don't want to panic here on the air. Let's just uh, take some of our pictures from News Chopper 7. Now, one of our producers said perhaps a second plane was involved, and let's not, let's not even speculate to that point, but at least put it out there that perhaps that may have happened. Uh, the second explosion would certainly back the theory from a couple of eyewitnesses that the plane fuselage perhaps stayed in those upper buildings. Now, if you look at the second building, there are two that both Twin Towers now are on fire. Now, this was not the case, am I correct? A couple of moments ago. This is the second Twin Tower now on fire. And we're going to check on the second flight if perhaps that had happened. This all began at about 8.48 this morning. Again, what we know, in case you're just joining us, a small plane, not a Cessna type or five or six seater, but instead perhaps a passenger flight, ran into the north side of the World Trade Center. As American 11, are you trying to call? The cockpit is not answering their phone. Our number one has been staffed and our five has been staffed. Hey, I'm going to call from Washington. I am in a situation with American 11, a possible hijack. What's going on, Betty? The crap is erratic again. Problem, very erratic. Betty, talk to me. Betty, are you there? Betty? Betty? A plane just hit the World Trade Center. What? The 737? It what? Like the World Trade Center. Who are you talking to? Oh, God. Oh, my God. United 175, New York. We have some problems over here right now. We might have a hijack over here, two of them. Fuel uh, service is flying with on an airplane that's been hijacked. And things don't go well. It's not looking good. I just want you to know, I absolutely love you. I want you to do good. So happy to time. Uh, same to my parents and everybody. And I just totally love you. And uh, I'll see you in the future. Bye, babe. What are those people going to do? Oh, all the elevators are blocked out. Oh, my God. 
my god. So both towers are now. Okay, now I got an aircraft that's out east of the White House. Hello? Crystal City, just north of Crystal City. Just to the north of your town. Yeah, stop all the parkers. The Pentagon just got hit. Don't say that. God damn, I can't even protect my NCA. United 93, that traffic for you is 1 o'clock, 12 miles eastbound 370. Negative contact, we're looking, United 93. United 93, Cleveland, if you hear the center right then. I got the pit, stop. Keep it remaining, sitting. You have the ball, boys. Get out of here. Get out of here. United 93, have you got information on that yet? Yeah, he's down. He's down? Yes. When did he land? He did not land. Oh, he's down? Yes, yeah, somewhere up northeast of Camp David. because you got to help each other get off the floor. I'm now. word that a plane apparently has crashed into really, the tower. Something relatively devastating happening this morning there. Is that the, there is more and more fire and smoke. Another plane has hit Tower 2. Uh, a horrific scene here. There's um, debris flying through the Directly in the middle of uh, one of the World Trade Center towers. Both towers of the World Trade Center have Thank you. 
show it to you right now as to what is happening. You can see there are choppers. I believe that could be a police helicopter that is... Oh! Wow. We just saw... Oh my goodness. You another, another live picture right now. Oh my goodness. Of what I believe was a plane that just hit another plane. It does not appear that there's any kind of a, an effort up there yet. Now remember, oh my God. That looks like a second plane. Has just I did not see a plane go in. That that just exploded. We I just saw another plane coming in from the side. Each of us will remember what happened that day and to whom it happened. We'll remember the moment the news came, where we were and what we were doing. Some will remember an image of a fire or a story of rescue. Some will carry memories of a face and a voice gone forever.